Andrew, is it not the case that John Tory is really just asking Justin Trudeau to, to double ban the gun, to triple ban them, and if there's more murderers, we'll quadruple ban them? I mean, isn't he just asking for more laws that don't seem to be working? Yeah, and I think that when you look at people like John Tory and a lot of the other gun grabbers we have in, in office right now, they already want the ban. They're just looking for any place they can apply it and, and advocate for it. And that comment that John Tory made where he said, you know, guns are the problem here and made that famous line, why does anyone need a gun? That was about 12 hours after the Danforth Ave shooting. I mean, the bodies weren't even cold yet. And John Tory was getting up there saying, you know, we need to have a, a gun, con gun control discussion and then city council in toronto voted to ban the sale of handguns and ammunition except they don't actually have the authority to do that they can only ask the federal and provincial governments to regulate it but let's say that the city got their way john tory got his way the one gun store in toronto there's only one that's the ultimate uh, amusing part of this the one gun store in toronto gets shut down it wouldn't have changed anything the gun that faisal hussein used by several reports was an illegal gun it was illegal illegally owned, it was illegally acquired, and as you mentioned, Ezra, it was illegally used. So there is no law that would have prevented this tragedy. And, and that's what the gun control advocates always fail to understand, that when you're talking about gun crime, the vast majority of firearms, especially in Toronto, which has a gang problem, are from illegal sources. So they are immune from what gun control does, which is simply impact people like me that have gone through the steps to get a gun legally. That's an excerpt from my daily TV show, The Ezra Levant Show. Normally it's behind a paywall, but I thought you'd like this video, so we put it on YouTube. Uh, if you want to subscribe to watch The Daily Show every day, including always two interviews a day and I read my hate mail, just click on this screen and become a premium member.